हेलो व्यूवर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम बैक दिस इज डॉक्टर आबिद व्यूवर्स आज की हम इस वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं मेटाबॉलिक डिजीजेस ऑफ एनिमल्स इन टुडेस लेक्चर स्पेशली वी विल फोकस ऑन द मेटाबॉलिक डिजीजेस ऑफ कैटल और बोवाइंस सो कंटेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द metabolic diseases includes introduction of the metabolic diseases and metabolism what is it and metabolic diseases overview so in this lecture we will discuss in detail about the overview of metabolic diseases and various phases of the metabolism and what is the mechanism of the disease occurs due to any of the metabolic dysfunction so let's start our lecture so sabse pehle introduction ki metabolic diseases are generally acute states that dramatically responds to the systemic administration of deficient nutrient or metabolite although affected animals may require subsequent dietary supplementation to avoid the recurrence it means that metabolic diseases can be prevented either through the balanced diet or as per the requirement of animal so the metabolic dis- disorders may be due to defects in the enzymes for example if there is any of the defects in liver or the enzymatic functions of the liver then metabolic diseases may occur so the main defect is enzymes so at how you will detect that this is a metabolic disease if you are not clinically observing the case then you should recommend the enzymes or the liver function test for confirmatory diagnosis of the disease so let's first we understand that what is metabolism metabolism or the biotransformation of toxicants by the body is an attempt to detoxify the foreign substances so the metabolism have been generally categorized into phases of metabolism in very first phase 1 it includes the oxidation reduction and hydrolysis mechanisms which catalyzes by the enzymes to convert the foreign compounds to derivatives for the further processing in phase 2 sometimes it is usually asked that phase 1 of the metabolism consists on which three processes so you should remind yourself that oxidation reduction and hydrolysis o r h these are the major mechanisms through which phase 2 is facilitated through the phase 1 what happens in phase 2 phase 2 principally involves conjugation and synthesis reactions it means that in this phase 2 common conjugates include glucuronides acetyl productions and combinations with the glycine it means that monomers are conjugated to form the complex molecules or there may be the condensation process where monomers are combined to form the polymers so this is synthesis synthetic reactions occur in phase 2 while hydrolysis reactions occur in phase 1 in which larger molecules are hydrolyzed or broken down into shorter chains or in simply monomers so first of all to go for the laboratory tests or confirmation diagnosis we should we should memorize these normal parameters of the blood in any of the animals but here we will discuss about the cows normal parameters so this is the short list in which the glucose level is 35 to 55 mg per deciliter as a random glucose level of the blood 
and calcium is 8 to 10.5 mg per deciliter phosphorus is 4 to 7 mg per deciliter and magnesium 1.2 to 3.5 mg per deciliter and natrium or the sodium it's sodium or natrium that is 132 to 152 mg per liter and calcium is 3.9 to 5.8 mg per liter hemoglobin 8 to 15 grams per deciliter and packed cell volume is 24 to 46 percent and albumin concentration is 2.1 to 3.6 grams per deciliter so these normal parameters mainly are important for the clinical examination of the reports now what are the metabolic disease is commonly found in the cattle most common metabolic diseases occurring after parturition includes acute or subacute acidosis parturient paresis or milk fever or sometimes we call it hypocalcemia and ketosis retained placenta may be due to metabolism dysfunction and blood accumulation of gases or tympani and gross tetany or gross staggers or magnesium tetany laminitis mastritis metritis and fatty liver diseases usually occurs after parturition they may directly or indirectly related to the metabolism uh, you may you may ask that mastitis or the metritis are diseases which are infectious in nature but it is not necessarily to be infectious in nature because sometimes these develops uh, infection develops secondary to the metabolic diseases other diseases include dystocia or difficult in parturition left displacement of abomasum other edema, hyper, hyperparathyroidism, enterotoxemia, and hemorrhagic bowel syndrome. Here, the enterotoxemia is a bacterial disease which is caused by the Clostridium perfringens, most common in goat and sheep, but can occur in large cattle as well. So, metabolic diseases overview is here is that it is of paramount importance that all the metabolic diseases are interrelated to one another for example animals affected from the milk fever or hypocalcemia is more prone to mastitis left displacement of abomasum dystocia other edema and ketosis so this should be kept in mind that for differential diagnosis milk fever should also be differentiated from other diseases and treated as per expertise are needed and cows related to acidosis is more prone to the laminitis left displacement of abomasum milk fever mastitis and fatty liver disease and what about retained placenta if animal is suffering from the retained placenta, then animal is more prone to the occurrence of metritis, inflammation of the uh, uterus or infection of the uterus, left displacement of abomasum or ketosis or hyperketonemia in which there is more ketone bodies production in the urine found. So thank you very much. and. From the next of the lectures, we will discuss in detail about the various metabolic diseases one by one described here. For example, in coming lectures, we will discuss about ketosis, retained placenta, blood, tetany, laminitis, mastitis, etc. in detail. Thank you very much. God bless you.